Hi guys, today we're gonna create this tree growth destruction in Houdini 19.5 and man, I have to say, this one made me in love with my job again. Today's video inspired by... Okay, this is Daizen, happy to be here. Today's video inspired by this scene of upcoming movie Shazam and as you can see, I love this shot. And honestly, I am so excited like this. Okay, this video is two part because it's so tricky to do. So in this part, we're gonna create this line with line node and maybe let's adjust the length and we have this line. And now let's create curve surface. We're gonna create mesh for this line here, curve surface, nice. Let me connect this, okay. We have this basic shape. We're gonna add end cap here and maybe the thickness. Awesome, so that's the thickness and we have this ramp or curve here for adjusting the look of this thickness. Okay, maybe this, nice. Now, Okay, now let me create a carve node here for the growth effect. We not need this, but second U. Okay, we're gonna enable that. And we have this growth. Let me add some segment or polygon here. Nice. Now, as you can see, we need some variation for this line. Okay, let's create attribute noise here. Let me connect this here and instead of CD, we're gonna select P position and let me adjust this noise. And that's awesome. And that's the growth as you can see. Now let's go to animate stuff here. First, let's go to noise. Okay. We're not gonna use this animation tab. Okay, instead we're gonna use this offset parameter i guess that's more convenient so let's type dollar t and that's it so i'm gonna adjust the speed later on and that's for the curve here curve sorry and maybe the speed's too high let's use 35 percent for that okay and this one maybe this let me see so slow i guess Okay, and yeah, let me adjust this, and that's good for now. Okay, we're gonna create helix by creating this tube node here. We're gonna resize this, and maybe this height is good, and maybe we're gonna adjust the thickness here, okay and maybe the height is more or less than okay so we're gonna add some segment and we're gonna create find shortest path this note is so handy and we're gonna select the start group here okay the bottom and the end group here okay and let's hit enter and we're gonna have these lines okay we're gonna create twist node for twisting this line or the geometry okay let's set region sorry capture region here we need a straight line at this point and and this point okay nice now we have this gizmo or handle let me adjust this as you can see the lines are adjusted as you can see nice now we're gonna enable the tapper uh, okay the tapper so we're gonna have thin thin look as you can see okay and now let's create a merge node here nice let's merge these guys together and see what we have here okay it's not bad it's still decent okay now let me adjust this twist okay and now we need a group okay 
need a group node here to select a randomly for these lines here let's enable this by chance and select this one and let's create delete node let's select our group here as you can see we are selecting a random lines as you can see for reduce this density okay that's not bad maybe this awesome and let me adjust this twist knot with this squashy look yeah it's not perfect but it's good for a start okay as you can see i'm adjusting this parameter to have my look and as you can see that's look we're gonna use so we need more segment for that lines let's create three sample and enabling or adding more point to these lines as you can see nice and as you can see these lines is more convenient but we have some artifact as you can see be gentle with this noise do not push it so hard so that's good for now okay now we're gonna enable this length scale for helping the growth effect as you can see with this parameter we're gonna adjust the length of this helix roots as you can see okay that's nice we're gonna add to this value the second and maybe 30 or 20 percent of this second let me see okay it's not bad as you can see we have the growth and this length as you can see let me adjust that okay maybe this and let me see that okay it's not bad and yeah okay that's nice okay as you can see we have this artifact we're gonna fix that let me show you first maybe this one as you can see the mesh is collapsing let's fix that with this attribute noise okay i said before be gentle with it nice yeah maybe this okay that's not bad let me see that okay the artifact is gone now let me adjust the thickness maybe okay yeah that's good for now let's proceed okay as always if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content and big shout out for my patreons thank you for supporting me so if you want to support me please check my patreon page here we have awesome stuff and project file here and if you want to support the community please check my nft page here and let's go back to the video okay now we're gonna create the cube for the ground here let me create a cube nice and let me template this one and let me adjust the size maybe this y-axis and maybe less thickness okay that's good and maybe more okay we're gonna use this one and let me adjust this roots with transform node okay let me bring this down and yeah it's not bad for now okay i'm gonna use this one and let me create material rbd material fracture sorry okay for fracturing this simple cube and let me delete this one and increase this point and yeah that's good for now and now let's create bullet solver okay bullet solver nice and let me show you something oh okay now we need a ground plane here let's go to collision and enable 
ground plane and that's nice pay attention we placing the cube with the ground okay let me show you something if we connect our roots to the collision we're not gonna have anything let me visualize that to show you as you can see we don't have any collision and that's because our roots are deforming and animating as you can see let me freeze that maybe on specific frame okay and now let's play as you can see we have the roots now because they are static okay even let me disable that even if we change the collision to deforming and concave we're not gonna able to make it work so I have solution for that let me disconnect this one and we're gonna create Sorry, um, maybe let me... Okay, we're gonna create RBD pack. Let me uh, create RBD pack for this uh, RBD material fracture and let me connect this one. And let me disconnect this wires here. Okay. And let's create RBD configure for these roots and let me copy paste this rbd pack here for these roots okay as you can see we have two rbd pack nice and now we're gonna create a merge node for merging this rbd pack okay merge uh, not this merge pack maybe the regular merge okay and now we're gonna unpack this RBD with RBD unpack and let's connect this three to our bullet solver. So let's go to, to this RBD configure of our roots and let's enable deforming because our roots are deforming actually and let's play and see what we get and maybe reset the simulation and let's play okay we have this weird effect that's because uh, I don't know it's bug or not but I have a solution for that let's uh, offset the roots okay we're gonna have a uh, roots on uh, frame zero okay as you can see we have this collision as you can see okay this artifact is not gone I guess I need to adjust the time shift more and let me see that honestly I don't know it's bug or not so I guess let me adjust this time shift or maybe disconnecting this one okay and reset the simulation okay we have the box and let's adjust this one and bingo as you can see this artifact is gone but our roots are flying <laughs> okay that's weird and honestly that's because we need to set the active to zero to tell the bullet solver this roots are a static object okay we did it with all the limitation we have in sub level with bullet solver so in the next part we're gonna complete this nice simulation with bullet solver and i will release that shortly stay tuned for that okay until then have a nice day